Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode 8 of our Europa Complete Walkthrough. Uh, last episode we talked about the modifier in the uh, wave section and all the fun stuff that all these settings do. And in this uh, this one, we're going to talk about the spectral filter. And we're not going to... Harmonics is actually going to be the next episode. We're just going to do the spectral filter portion of this. Um, so let's get into it. For this episode, we're going to want a harmonically rich waveform. So I've chosen a saw uh, for this. So we got lots of harmonics to play with when with our filter here. Um, so uh, here we... There's... There it is. Big, big chord there for you. Can you hear me in the back? Now let's turn the filter on. And so it's a, you know, it's a low pass, like, like, a lot of this is going to be like basic synthesizer stuff. So, you know, you can skip forward if you want. Um, you know, resonance, frequency, and then we have our, our little uh, representation of the filter and what it's doing. Not all uh, low pass filters are created equal. So, you know. Uh, you you just play with them and see what they do. So there's there's our low pass. These are all of our different options. That's a 12 dB cut. So here's a 24 dB cut. And if you're confused about what does the cut mean, so that's 24. There's 12. You see how that angle is not as steep on 12, so it's just cutting off more harmonics on 24. So just like that. And um, be aware that sometimes, you know, it will treat or not, not sometimes, you know, it's all the time. It's going to treat it differently. Like um, say you're making a bass sound, a synth bass sound, and, you know, you're trying to decide between a 12 and a 24 dB cut. Um, you, you should definitely play with them because, and then like even play with, other filters you know you could run Europa out to a Thor and use a filter in a Thor because um, it's got different lo low passes as well um, and or you can run it out to um, to just the classic the classic ECF 42 and it's got low pass 12 and 24 just uh just be aware that you got options so you know you don't have to be happy with with what this has got but this is a respectable filter um so that's those are two low passes we got a high pass does exactly what you'd expect it to do and then we got a band pass let's take a look at it and look at it move in a it's just a band of sound. And just remember, you know, that resonance. Resonance is your friend or your enemy, depending on what you're doing with it. Phew. <laughs> danger, danger. All right. Parametric EQ. So let's turn that. And look at there. It's just chopping out little bit so you know and you want to boost a frequency or you want to cut a frequency you know it's interfering with you know let's say this was that's your background pad and you don't want it interfering with uh, with your lead or a voice or something like that then yeah you can use that as a de facto para parametric EQ dual peak so here it comes. It hurts. So it's um, very much like a, it's like a weird low pass, you know? 
or a weird band pass. They're just weird. Uh, vocal format. So you you want to wow it up. You got it right. That's how you do wow. Or, or a whoa. Whoa. Um, low pass, variable, slope. But it's not working because we don't have resonance on. I think this is a great example of how not all low passes are created equal. Versus. Oh, sorry, high pass. <laughs> like, it just, it's a little dirtier. I like it. <clears throat> um, high pass variable slope, same idea. But without resonance. You got nothing. Um, comb, positive comb. So, see it. There it goes, adding those, well, cutting and adding harmonics. Accidentally played tool there. Comb, negative. And I, I didn't say it before, but as I'm sweeping the frequency, you see what it's doing there? Like, it's, uh, it's low passing your fundamental. Pushing all those extra harmonics up or down, and then that resonance is really brutal. So, I'm having a little fun. Resonator one. So, let's turn everything all the way off. So. And you might expect that. You have to have resonance on for resonator to do something. Listen to that body. We're seeing some of the same things. Boom. So passing the, the lower, passing your fundamental, adding harmonics to it. Then the more resonance, the more intense those harmonics are getting. And they're all doing something just a little different, you know? And these resonator ones are a little painful. Envelope four. Envelope four. Oh, that's kind of interesting, so yeah, that's applying that weird little cut going, going from the bottom up there so does envelope four actually do something oh yeah yep there we go 
there it is. So I am messing with envelope four. <laughs> There you go. Program your envelope and then use that as your spectral filter. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, boost the resonance here. Sorry for overdriving. So yeah, you get the idea. That's what that one does. Uh, and then user wave. Um, so user wave, I don't have one selected right now. Um, hang on. All right, so user wave, um, your experience will vary because depending on what wave you select, you're gonna get something totally different every time. But you can see it, I'm moving the wave around. So yeah, just it just depends on what wave you pick, how that's going to respond. Um, so sky's the limit on that one. Uh, and then of course, don't forget, you know, envelope four, since you can program your own filter in there. Uh, so quickly, we'll talk about uh, keyboard. Um, and this is the same kind of thing that uh, has applied to many things in the past. Um, that you know, if you've watched uh, any of my other uh, tutorials or watch the Thor one, then this should be very familiar or any previous uh, episodes of this one. <laughs> uh, depending on where you are on the keyboard, then it will apply the filter differently. So low end, okay, so I got it turned all the way up and we're gonna have some high resonance here and then high end. So you can hear that resonance getting turned up as in pushing it to the high end there. Um, so this should look familiar from the last episode. You can change, you can assign any one of your envelopes, LFOs, velocity, mod wheel, key, or random, or inversions of the same, and then apply that to the frequency. Um, so we'll do an easy one just that makes sense. There's LFO1, and you can see it right down here. Uh, and I've got it on a slow hertz and then we're going to turn it up and turn it up my LFO So I think you can see how that could be fun because you got velocity, you got, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You watch the last episode where I talked about the exact same thing. Um, and then so then to make matters even more confusing, um, this is engine one filter velocity uh, so the velocity of the key is going to affect how much this filter uh, uh, this um, this option affects the filter um, so here I I touch gently now I smash it down touch gently Smash it down. Hopefully that illustrates exactly what it does. Uh, so that's it for this one for Spectral Filter. Next episode we're going to talk about harmonics here. It'll be a little bit shorter one. And um, it'll be fun.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.